Hey guys, uh, I asked on, uh, you know, on Instagram, uh, what you guys wanna, uh, you know, ask me. So we got some questions. Some are good, some are pretty bad, and I'll skip them. So first one, at Busy Horan asks, which memes are your favorite memes? Uh, one of my favorite memes is like, you know, it gets more verbose, picture by picture. I liked one of those. This one is like. The number nine one, two number nines, number nine large, number six extra dip, number seven, two number 45 small with cheese and a large soda. That gets verbose more than time. It's like a homeo sapient of my variety acquired the sustenance of hamburgers. Ah, I thought it was pretty funny. So that's the only meme that really connects with me. On to the second one. At Bob Pepe official ask. What do you do in your free time? Uh, most of the time, I'm on Wikipedia and making bookmarks. I, in fact, have more than 160 of bookmarks. I may have a problem, but the first step to success is admitting you have a problem, and I don't have a problem. So, or maybe I just watch them on YouTube. Don't really do much, you know. At Shaq asks, have you ever played basketball? Yes. At Shaq asks, are you sure? Yes. At Fip Grandy asks, what exactly is your wingspan? Uh, this is exactly two meters. It's been two meters for the past year. Last measured uh, yesterday. Yes, yeah, yesterday. Last measured yesterday, two meters. Uh, number six, at Jackie Boy asked, how tall are you? I am 6'4". Please write that down so you don't ask me that again. Uh, M. Fran asked, could you stop calling me please? That's not me calling you, that's your cousin calling you. So don't tell me I'm calling you. Um, uh, sorry, I lost my place. Uh, at Real DJ Trump asks, "How big are your feet?" That uh, I don't talk about that in public. I think that's uncomfortable to ask, so I'm gonna skip it. How many bookmarks are on your computer? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm nearing the 200 mark. I really, I'm not gonna check those sites back. I'm just, I just bookmarked them so I can say I check them back, but I'm not gonna check them back. Oh, at no one asked that one. I don't think I said that. That's okay. No one did ask that one question. At Pat Mobile asked, or Brad Mobile. Uh, Club Penguin or Lego Universe? This is, a, this is a pretty tough question because both are my favorite games. I started. I started playing Club Penguin two years before Lego Universe. And I just had a lot of fun. I'll be right back. Cut, cut, cut. cut. Three, two, four, one, two. Three, two, four, Anna. Are we still recording? No. Good. There you go. <laughs> uh, sorry guys, I, I, got, I got kind of emotional there.
Uh, I think we're at number nine. How many bookmarks are on your computer? No. Yes, we were. No, no outside comment, please. Uh, I think I answered this one. Thanks, guys. We're actually number 11. Are you a pro Tetris player? I am, in fact, the eighth world um, grandmaster of Tetris. I'm the, uh, I'm the second one outside of Japan. There's only two people outside of Japan who are grandmasters. One is Kevin DDR, and I'm the other one. And stop, stop messaging me. Yes, I am a, I'm a pro Tetris player. Uh, if you want to observe me play Tetris, just find me, because I'm probably playing Tetris. If I'm at lunch, I'm playing Tetris. You guys gotta know this. Uh, anonymous asks, why is Tali sad? I think we all know why Tali is sad. The real hero, Brian. I'm not gonna answer this question. Uh, it's too spooky. You guys wanna check out my let's play for that one, if you know what I mean. Uh, X X forty two X X X Papa X Johnson X X X forty two X asks, Have you ever heard of the YouTuber X X forty two X X X Papa X Johnson X X X forty two X? From what I've heard is that they're really on the rise. If you check out the old Minecraft YouTubers, they're all dead right now. But this guy's on the rise. A solid two subscribers. I think the other account is his uh, alternative account, but that's okay. I already donated a pizza to him anyway, so it's all good. Uh, Malachi, Malachi Wiffdorf. Why are you being like that? I'm just being my natural self. So you couldn't like stop hating on me when I ask a question. It'd be all right. Uh, number 17. I mean, 42. Uh, at Mr. Martian asks, how do you pronounce your name? It's not really hard to pronounce my name. There's no eyes in my name. There's no, in my first name, there's no eyes. In my first name, there's also no E's. So, it's not really hard to say. It's all, all, tal, all. That's not hard to say. But for some people, it's really hard to say. Some people, it's been, it's been two years, and they still can't say the name. But that's okay. It's not. He said it. Have you heard of Kano at Yum Yum Cabbage Official Ass? Uh, we're not, that's not family friendly, Yum Yum Cabbage. We don't talk about that kind of subject here, but yes, I have heard of it. Entrepreneur right here. I made that. But, yes? You can come up here if you have a question. Okay. 19. Okay, quit the laughing. Mantonio Man asks, which apartment do you live in downtown? <laughs> Talal's doctor asks, do you have asthma? No, I don't have asthma. It's just designer inhaler. Got from Gucci. Uh, what was it called? Louis Vuitton. Why does, the question I have for you guys is why does no one go into the new part of the Natick Mall? Like, Natick Mall is such a great place. I don't know about you guys. I enjoy the Natick Mall. You guys should enjoy the Natick Mall. According to Google, if you want to go to the Natick Mall, the best days you think uh, kids would go out on a Friday night to the mall, but apparently they don't. The best time is at Saturday at 3 p.m. or Sunday 3 p.m. But on Sunday it closes at 6. But on a Saturday it closes at 9. So if I were you, I'd go at Saturday. Uh, 21. Over there asks, is it true you can play songs on your throat? Yes, I can. I play a variety of songs of multiple genres for many years. I was in the Boston Symphony Orchestra as a lead throatist, and I also joined the Sousa Fan with, who was it? Oh, Gustav Holtz. Me and him played uh, that arrangement, Planets. Hey guys, I know my musical history, so if you... <laughs> if 
chance can just stop? This is why Malachi called him new, okay? This is why Malachi called him new. Uh, a lie request. Play some throat songs. Okay. Anyone, anyone want to back up me? The back up part? Anyone? Come on. Come on. Just do it. Okay. Actually, I don't know if I can do it. It's gonna hit the mic a lot. Magic. Thank you. 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 Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Gracias. Gracias. Come on. Gracias. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't, I, don't, I don't think you guys would hear that. Um, uh, my phone's a little camera shy, so I wasn't playing my best at that time, but if you look at me, uh, when I'm off camera, I play really good. Uh, 22, the milkman asks, how did you get so tall? So first, you drink a lot of milk, three, t three cups. Then you stretch every day in kindergarten. Since in kindergarten, you're just a growing young lad. Then again, you are a growing young lad until you're 21. So you guys, if you guys get tall, Drink milk, get that calcium, and stretch. Uh, 23, do you know the way it asks, what is your favorite restaurant? I'm a big fan of Indian restaurants. For Italian, the Olive Garden's pretty good. I don't know about the Chateau though, never been there. I, I heard it's, never mind, I'm not gonna say it. Uh, 24, Kath Sherman asks, why are your hands so big? When you're big vertically, you're big with your monos. It's just like, you know, it's like surface, uh, surface area to volume. You can't have that much volume or you'll have a little less surface area. Why are you wearing this? TJ, you know you're wrong. So let's end it there. Uh, the year, <laughs> the real urologist asks, can you teach the kids how kidney storms form forms? So what happens is, you eat a lot of, I guess, salty foods. No, no, no. What the heck? I don't know what to do with these. What is that? What is that? I'm not touching that. <laughs> it's a tomato. Or pepper, sorry. It's pretty juicy. So you can imagine this is your kidney. You know, and like, it travels down the kidney. Can you get a shot of that? Yeah. So, you know, that's, you know, it's going to the kidney. 
but oh, it almost fell out there. Oh, <laughs> that's close. So what happened? Oh, <laughs> so what happened is a blockish forms, and when that blockish forms. We'll do this later. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. Yeah. Thank you. We'll have another one. Hey, 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 hands off. Hands on. Oh. They fixed it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that only happens after surgery. Seems like they can't get it out without surgery. True story. I don't know why that happened. At talals one e 42 asks, how did you get so smart? First of all, who chooses a name like that? I wouldn't. I sure, I sure wouldn't choose a name like that. So what you do is you read Wikipedia and then you think you know something but you have to be a jack of all trades, a master of none. That's for all of you out there. The entire, oh my gosh. The, uh, at the entire meme team asks, can you count us down, charge up? I thought we had made it clear last year that we had uh, put the uh, charge up down. I'm pretty sure we put the charge up down, but every test people are like, Kalal, can you do the charge up now? I'm like, no man, that's a put down meme. And you can't see this on camera, but these guys are like clacking away and like shaking their hands like, <sighs> fine. Okay. Uno. Two. Three. I feel really ashamed of doing that. The, thing, the, the reason why I put the charge up down was that after a few times I did that, I was sitting at home and I thought what I did today, then I remembered we did a charge up because we had a quiz that day. Then I realized, why do I do this charge up? It's not funny. There's no, you know, physical benefits, mental benefits. And, like, we used to do it all the time. I remember after one time after winning some, we'll be all like gathered up. We're like, guys, three, two, one. But those days are gone. 29, the real OTS, OTSD asks, what is your opinion on a yum yum cabbage? So what can I say? What is yum yum cabbage? How do you describe an entity so musical that they can transcend some kind of normal bounds. What? No, you can, you can just, you know, scoot over. Hey, yo, look who it is, yeah! I'm right here. Yeah, dude, whoa, that was so, dude, we were just doing a, a, a fax, an FAQ, S. Mm -hmm. Yeah? What's that? Uh, it's when, it's when the people of the world ask me questions. The people of the world are asking you questions? Yeah, man. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Back off. Now, why are you even here? Um, just came to sell you some Pano. Dude. And I got the new shipment right here. What the heck? Dude, inhaler. Good That's an inhaler canister, guys. No, it's not his Cano. Take it off camera. Off camera. <laughs> cut! Cut the camera! No. Come on, come no. on, come on. Don't cut me. I'm still here. Come on, <laughs> cut the cameras. Come on, put the camera down. I don't have the camera anymore. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> put the camera down. Put the camera down. Put the camera down! You can't get me in here. Is this recording? No. You Good. cannot get me in here. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! 
two, wall, wall, no. wall, oh, wall, okay, wall, three, two, one, and three, two, oh, one, two, four, one, two, four, yeah, what's after one, two, four, one, six, three, it's seven, five, nine, sorry, yeah, oh, dude. hey, oh, oh. oh, I'm not even near you, I'm over here, how do you know I wasn't fighting somebody else, who is there, come on, we gotta answer the question, I was fighting my goldfish addiction. I have to play Club Penguin Island after this, and if I don't get there on time, I'm going to miss that special event with Gary the Agent. All right. I mean, the gadget guy. It's been a long time. What? What? Yes? Hello. Hi. <laughs> I have a question for you. Why were you calling me today during the performance? I mean, the what I think of Yum Yum Cabbage is, is that his music cannot be compared to the one of the British invasion, as we say. Oops. Oh, man. That was not good. I think you're a little too high for this camera. Okay, I'll lower it. Ah. So, uh, you, YYC, I think, what was it called? What was, it, what was your parody called? Which one? <laughs> the Minecraft parody. It's just called Vending Trash Minecraft Parody. Yeah, the Vending Trash Minecraft Parody. Uh, you could say it may be uh, one of the most uh, influential records of this time. So yes, I agree. I was reading a Rolling Stones interview, and they it was of the Beatles, and they're interviewing Paul McCartney, and they said, if you could choose one musician of the modern era, and you could uh, say that you would be definitely sure that they do good, they'd be like better than Billy Joel uh, in the, I don't know, rock era. Oh no. Uh, if you could say one, if you name one artist, what would you do? Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Just cut the camera. No. <laughs> Finish your sentence. <laughs> Dude, stand up. Stand any smoking. So Paul McCartney. <laughs> no. This is a family friendly program. <laughs> all right, all right. We didn't get a contract for PBS for nothing. <laughs> so, Paul McCartney says uh, he said that you're pretty like, influential as a person, mm -hmm. as a musician, and as a soul. He uh, took your, uh, I don't know how to say it, but. He didn't say, he didn't name you as one artist. He didn't? Yeah. <laughs> Why we, what um, was the point of saying that whole sentence? It was Dragon. DST. DJ DST he named. So DJ DST is sure an influential artist. Whoa, I just got shoved. I don't know who you are, but I'll find you and kill you. No, not that meanie. No. Uh, I think we're getting a little out of hand, folks. Uh, till next time, this is me signing off.